you know, um, this false flagging and stalking YouTubers is getting out of hand. Now, when I first started doing YouTube videos, I used to get a number of white folk or people of color who identify themselves as white, usually coming to my channel saying most vile things. And every now and then, I would get a young black person or a black person who would criticize my videos because they didn't like the fact that I was calling out white racism or the self-hatred stupid things that we're doing among ourselves. But it wasn't until I did a video on Oprah and I called out a bunch of uh, white folk for manipulating stories and images that some of our self-hating black men and black women start to attack me. And it wasn't until I think Red Tails, when it came out, how I was talking about how it was a good movie and one of these brothers got mad at me because I said it was a good movie and he started talking about, you know, it was a love scene with a black man and a white woman. And I'm sitting there saying that's what happened during that time. And then, you know, you had sisters starting to hit me and stuff. And I'm like, for y'all to claim y'all understand history and understand things, y'all need to understand what was going on. And a bunch, I think it had to be about four or five brothers and sisters was coming at me hard. And I knew why it was happening, and I fell for it a little bit, but I just started to ignore them. And when you ignore people, they get pissed off at you. But eventually, those black guys stopped, at least I think they stopped. But then a new crop of sisters pop up, and one in particular came to my channel and said something about me talking about white folk, you know, calling out their racism. And she suggested I, well, she planned and planned said, I need to stop talking about them. And I'm like, wow. You, you, and yeah, I realized he, she was a young sister, so I said, okay, fine. But I ignored it. And I guess people don't like you ignoring her, so she came to the channel being rude. I didn't go to her channel. I didn't say anything to her. But once you say something out here on YouTube, and knowing that we got people that follow black videos, they said, oh, Harvey Suboy and this woman got into it, or such and such got into it with that person. And what they do is they go create dummy accounts and they send messages and people fall for it. Instead of going back, taking time, going to the channel like I do and seeing their if they just if the channel is set to private, what date did it did it, did it, did, it, did they open it and where are the views at. And I kept telling everybody I didn't say what I said. But people are quick to believe the worst in black men. So they thought that I was up here saying one thing in my videos and doing another thing in others. And those who've been loyal and who follow me and I've had conversation with know what I was what I was doing. And they stuck with me through thick and thin. Now some people eventually they they stop leaving comments and for various reasons. You know, I don't know if they just got tired of the YouTube thing, or maybe they figure I had stopped doing videos or some could have passed away or it could be doing other things. They don't have a lot of time. And um, people kept, you know, saying, well, Harvey, you know, this video is out here about you saying you said this. So I had two subscribers. I told this story before. Suggest I get the screen capture software. You know, it's the best investment because now when I look at a questionable comment or somebody send me something personally, and I know that they, what they're trying to do is like get me to say something and go back and say, see, Harvey said this about me. I told y'all about him. I got proof that I didn't. Well, as y'all know, if y'all been following me, last month I caught one, one of the YouTubers, the one that kicked a lot of this drama off, called a red hand and coming to my channel harassing me. Haven't been to the woman channel and saying anything to her. I stay away from that kind of dr drama. But then during that time, another YouTuber started coming at me. A guy, he came to my channel one to badmouth black women. I guess he figured, well, this guy is not in, in, in getting into anybody. So I'm going to go over and see if he's going to join me in criticizing black women. I said, brother, you got the wrong guy. And he called me out my name and I blocked him. He followed me around to another channel. had nothing to do with what I was doing and left, left to come and say, I'm going I'm to fix you. Well, the very next day, I didn't think nothing but about it. One of my YouTube uh, buddies said, hey, man, such and such made a video about you. And I said, what? And it's, my name was in it. I mean, this person talked about me like a dog. Never got personal with this man. So I'm sitting there saying, these people see videos all the time where people are talking about us, mocking us, making threats, 
saying they want to do harm to us and you coming after me. So I sat there, I made a response to and said, why would you do this type? Why would you come at me like this? I haven't dis disrespected you, anything in that nature. And I, and I figured, okay, I said my piece, that's it. Nope, kept coming back. Then other YouTubers that that knew him said, hey, man, why are you doing this? And then he went after them. It was this whole thing. And I, I, I said, you know, I'm just going to step back and not say anything because I, I don't need this drama. But he kept coming at me because the more I ignored him, the more he wanted to come at me, just like the sister. So I started saying, you know what? I'm going to start watching who subscribes to my channel and who leaves what comments. And like I told y'all before, I notice patterns. I notice words, how things are structured. So one day, I think I did a video and I talked about this. Some of my scribes said, yep, you know who they are. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You do this, do that. So the next thing I know, my views go up. Now, this is, a, this is what the ironic part is. They go after videos and they false flag. And YouTube just let them false flag. No matter what the content is, they just false flag videos. So I said, okay, you guys think you stopped me. I think you guys, all you're doing is making me come back stronger and harder, okay? So what happened is, I put up a new channel. I get more views and more subscribers. So this is, I guess this is baffling the fuck out of these people. I'm like, don't this guy stop? And I'm like, I keep telling people, you don't know me. This is how I was able to survive in a war zone. This is how I was able to survive those injuries that I received. Near death injuries, I should say. Because I'm a fighter. I'm like a phoenix. I rise, man, you know? So, I'm sitting here putting my videos out. And I know I put a video out calling out this white woman. The other black YouTuber, I guess, got mad because I had the nerve to call out a white person. I'm like, why is it that these brothers and sisters <coughs> seem to want to see other black YouTubers talk, attack each other? And I thought that I realized, I said, we like dysfunction. Or a certain segment of our population like this function. So I had YouTubers telling me this person was a mulatto or mix or biracial. How did I said, oh, it says a lot. And this person still was making videos about me and leaving derogatory comments. I'm like, wow. I said, this is what it is, huh? So I said, and I'm just going to ignore them. And I guess that pissed them off. When you ignore these people, they get, they get pissed. Like, how dare you ignore me? So I've seen videos around YouTube people putting up videos about subscribers and people stalking and false flagging and making YouTube threats because there's people getting <coughs> pretty outrageous with this stuff. So, I, like, my other channel got false flagged. It's going to be down for a couple of weeks. It'll be back up, but guess what? I'm pretty sure somebody come and try to false flag it for again and then YouTube will try to pop it down. And I'm like, okay, fine, no problem. But now... I got this channel. I put this channel up on uh, Friday, Friday morning, and I put up 30 some videos, and I already got like 60 some subscribers already. And by the end of the week, I have all those subscribers that was on my other channel back because they realized, oh, this is not a troll channel because I'm not using the Harvey Superboy name per se because it seemed like people be hawking that name really, really quick. <coughs> Excuse me. So my uh, my other YouTube friends and them were saying, you know, they had, they getting hit too. And it seemed like it's the same people. And I said, and we had a conversation on Skype, and I said, have y'all noticed the names and y'all noticed the pattern? And yes, said, we know who they are. It's just the thing is YouTube seemed to like to let them stay out there, hang out there. Because I'm telling you right now, this people have gotten used to making vid making money off of YouTube, okay? Or at least trying to make money. And if you got somebody who's not working, who is sitting at home all day, or has a part-time job looking to make extra money, if they don't have nothing to say, and they got somebody like monopolized, I wouldn't say monopolized, but it's getting thousands of views or hundreds of views, and that stuff adds up, they think you're taking money away from them, when in essence, you ain't going to make the big bucks, okay? Because if you just look at the, the channels, there are white, there are uh, Latin, on average, they get more views, okay? Now, unless you got a booty shaking video up or got a gang fight or see two black men like stupid, then you're getting millions of millions of hits. But a lot of times, do those do not be black YouTubers. And they don't want to bring too much attention to themselves in that manner. Okay? So, like I said, I put my videos up and I'm watching it. And I'm like, who's voting my videos? Then this channel ain't been up a good week. 
who's folding the veto down already? And I think I've been pretty balanced, but I notice the topics when I talk about people get mad. If I talk about what whites do, it really get mad to make you think that it's white folk doing. It ain't white folk doing because, like I said, white people can't help but leave a calling card and say something to you, okay? So I noticed a pattern. But then I came across this video of Tommy Sotomayor, and he's talking about, you know, flagging videos on YouTube. And he has some pretty interesting things to say about it. I thought about going in, playing it, I'm, you know, and I thought about it. I said, nah, nah, but just to let you know that there are people like him out here talking about this. Now, whether I agree with him or you agree with him doesn't matter. The fact is, he's on point when you're talking about the youth flagging of YouTube videos. There's other people out there talking about this. But there's one person in particular. Came, did, I did a video talking about the sister that... um that uh claims that I that I have been um picking on her and saying things about her and I kept telling the sister I said look you said what you said about me you put a bunch of videos up about me I have not came at you any kind of way I told you those people were sending you comments were not me but she couldn't believe it and I and I, and I had to go I had to make say this it seems to me that some of our women would tend to believe somebody else's word versus the word of the person actually speaking. So I did the video to show you guys that I'm not picking on her. If I if she hates me so much and I and and, and I've done something to smirch her character, why would you subscribe to my channel? That means you're keeping tabs on me. That means you're trying to you're trying to do something to keep me from from reaching a certain audience. Okay, fine. This person right here, our box river came to my channel. Now, I don't go to this person's channel, but I'm going to show you how this person's channel is set up so you know that I'm not picking on this person either. Let's see. This person created their channel May 30th, 2012, right? Latest activity was to this morning, June 18th, okay? Okay? Now, hold on. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. This person in the United Kingdom, nine times ten, these are not in the United Kingdom. Now they, they look at this person. They have one subscriber, zero views. Wonder why? Because it's a dummy channel. Now this person subscribe to Mr. Painless Forever. We know exactly who that is. Okay, we know exactly who that is. Now I'm gonna go down and look and see, see uh, if you see any more. I hate Tommy Sotomayor. Let's see. They're going to certain black you okay. They're going to certain black YouTubers. Now, this brother, knowledge on point, he caught the sister in question, called her out on it. But this person subscribed to him. But guess what? This same person, and I think I know who it is, has been in contact with Miss DX Princess, right? Okay. I think I got a pretty good idea who this man is because this person is using the same tone, the same wording when they speak to me, okay? So I'm going to read something real quick so y'all understand what I'm talking about, these stalker type. Okay. And why do you move comments that are focused on your online behavior? First of all, Online behavior. I don't. Okay. I'm okay. Fine. And I said, and, and then this person said, "You did the same thing to BX Princess, what you did to me." And she called you out about it. And that at that time, I agree with you. But after the way I was treated, I wholeheartedly agree with her. Ghetto trumping up, Harvey, your malicious old cunt. I know who's saying this, and I think a lot of the YouTubers who follow me know who this is. But. He's obsessed with me because I've ignored him for the last three weeks. And that's and that's eating and eating him up, okay? Harvey, I disagree with your video in the most polite manner. And you block me. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just say who it is. It's painless. It's painless. Okay. Then he said, as a younger man, I can honestly say he's older than me, but okay. That I completely lost respect for you. Anyone who doesn't 100 percent agree with you, you deem as a bad thing. Why is that? It's because you depend on manipulating those who believe in your preachings and those who don't pose a direct threat to your status as the most righteous and country's brother on YouTube. BX Princess is an idiot and so are you. 
Now, I would I hope she she knows that the guy that she talked about me, she went to painless to talk about me, is talking about her. Okay? But see, this is sick, this is twisted, incestuous thing on YouTube. And so let me see. And why and then let me see, what did I say? I say I don't remove comments. How many times do I have to say those were dummy accounts? And why do you follow me around when it's been you bad mouthing me and I said nothing to you? Can't you say stalker? And I, I'm being upfront with y'all. I, I, you know, I don't understand why why he had to do the subterfuge. It's going on in different accounts because he already told me he said he goes under different accounts. He's come to my channel, voted down videos. He's put up videos in my name, and I guess I guess. That because I say, you know, I'm just going to ignore him. It's pissing him off. Then he went and it seemed like every time, every time somebody disagrees with me, he goes to their channel and he said, yeah, well, Harvey said this. He said this. And I'm sitting to myself said, why is it that you guys are so worried about what I say? If you don't like what I said, put your own videos up and and you do it that do it that way or just ignore my channel. But Tommy Sotomayor said something about it. He said, some people just don't have a life. And a lot of people are jealous that you have a following, whether you make money on YouTube or not. And I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because I see a lot of our people running around here like their heads chopped off, don't know where to do, what to do or where to go. So for those YouTubers who feel the need that they got to follow me around, stalk me or whatever you need to get a life okay this is getting sad and all you doing is proving my point because every time people like yourself come to my channel and leave these crazy ass comments all you gonna do is send people to your channel and look at your channel they're not gonna click on any videos because nine times ten you don't have any videos and if you do it doesn't make any sense or it's not pertaining to the issues they want to speak about and they vote down your videos here it is, the sister in question subscribed to me under two channels. If y'all go back and look at my video, I told you, it, 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 it told you so, or what, what was it? I told you it's not me. Go look at it, and I'll show you what she did. But this person comes under, and I know this is painless. I know it because him and Miss, Miss BX Princess was talking. This is what I'm talking about. This is some sick shit. If a person blocks you, go on about your business. Obviously, they won't have a conversation with you. But see, this is why I say, this is why our community is jacked up. We don't know when to walk away from shit or let shit go. We always got to get the last word. Always. This is why other ethnicities laugh at us. Because we can't agree to disagree. If you come to my, my channel. Talking nonsense or or, 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 or or defending people outside the community after I've showed you evidence that they think lowly of, low of us or uh, think, don't think anything of us, I should say. <coughs> you want to defend them? It says more about you than me. But the thing is, you don't want nobody to find you, find you out. So you say, I got to stop this guy. He's talking too much. He's telling too much of our business. Why don't y'all go to those channels with a clan? And I'm gonna tell you something. And what gets me about this brother? And I and people gonna say, how you know it's this brother? I'm telling you, I know his wording. This is the same shit he said on my other channel under his under his other other name. I mean, this this shit is sad. This shit is sad. Then you and I'm tell you how it was as a giveaway. He mentioned. He mentioned, oh, uh, what's the name? He mentioned, um, BX Princess. He and her was talking to each other. Now he's gonna go and come under another, another, another name. And then he's defending her, but he's talking about it at the same time. And then you think I'm silly enough not to pick up on your wording. He got mad at me because I blocked him because he wanted to bad mouth black women. And that's not what my channel represents. And from that day on, he's been making videos about it, but I've ignored him, and he can't take it. And then the sister in question, she comes to my channel, and then she wants to get, uh, but she didn't leave any come. What she did was, she subscribed to my channel, so if she see anything she think is inappropriate, or if she, she probably have voted my video down on this channel. 
I know this person did, and I, that's why I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all. I already blocked the person, but I'm going to show y'all again. I went to the person channel and did it, but I'm going to do it from right here, okay? So y'all can see, okay? This person is blocked, okay? But I want y'all to notice something. The day joint, May 30th, 2012. Now, they went to, now, it was a video on my other channel, <coughs> the one that General, back, uh, General uh, Backlash had disagreed with me on a video I made, calling out that white woman. This person went, I've been following Harvey videos for a long time. How can you be following my videos for a long time if your channel was created May 30th, 2012? And I suggest you guys go look at that video if you, if you have a chance. And then you only got one subscriber, zero views. And then the first person you subscribe to... Mr. Painless forever. Mr. Subscribe to Mr. Painless. See, that's a dead giveaway. See, I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all not smarter than me. Those who try to be smarter than me, and I don't want anybody to think I'm being arrogant. I, I'm not really. But I'm just saying that you got to think a little bit faster and a little bit harder because I, I pick up on words. I pick on patterns, okay? See, it, it just is sad. It's so fucking sad that you have grown men and grown women can't take the fact that somebody don't want to talk to them or somebody's not going to put with their BS. That's why I see why some of my brothers and sisters don't deal with certain black people or certain members of our community. It's bad enough we got to fight racism. We got to fight all these other wars, but then we got to fight our own people. Now, the thing is, a brother, he's trying to get back and ingratiate himself with the black community, black YouTube community, I should say. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Some of my subscribers out here, you know, I'm kind of disappointed in some of y'all because y'all talked all that shit about him. He gets a weak-ass apology. And y'all going to his channel. Hey, I, I agree with you, brother. I like your video. I'm like, we have a schizophrenic view. Now, if you guys... Know what I'm talking about? If you think if you offended by that, unsubscribe, go someplace else. I don't need your views. That I'm, I'm I'm here every day. Somebody new discovers my channel. Remember, we got millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of people who use YouTube. I have brothers and sisters from across the pond who send me com comments. I've had white men and white women who came to me and said, you know what, you're speaking the truth. You ain't said nothing, nothing wrong about anybody. And that's what scared those brothers and sisters. Like, damn, he's not ca causing no drama with anybody. He's just speaking his opinion, and, and people can't take that. Like, I tell some of the sisters out here, like, oh, you agree with such and such? And I'm like, no, actually, I don't. I said, I just go to their videos to see what they're saying. And if I do agree with some, that doesn't mean I agree with everything in the video. But see, we're so, we're so sensitive about what, we, what black people think about other black people. We start taking sides. Like I, I, like I said, if you don't like what you hear, you got go to another channel. But, I, I, but y'all won't because somewhere and I hit a nerve. And y'all can't take it when I don't respond. Like some brother says, I'm not going to say and call you out your name. I'm not going to go tit for tat with you. We're too old for that shit. But when you come to my channel under a different name or subscribe to my channel to just to see what I do, that means, that means you have the issues and not I. 